last for about three minutes because, you know, his gasoline sort of runs out a little bit. It's a little bit like an electric car, isn't it? You know, it doesn't, it doesn't go far. It doesn't go far. Got a couple of problems. Doesn't go far. No, but he finished his speech and I did this great imitation. You know, the way he always points like, huh. And then he walks in a different direction. But I did it. He goes like, huh. And then, thank you. And then a handsome Secret Service agent, one of these handsome guys, the Secret Service is great. They run up on stage and they pretend like everything's normal. You know, like, oh, it's right over here, sir, right over here. I thought that could be. No, he's negotiating with Putin and with Kim Jong-un. I mean, think of it. He's negotiating with President Xi of China. Think of it. Kim Jong-un, North Korea, he's negotiating. I did a good job with Kim Jong-un. We had a very good relationship. People don't like it when I say that. But we were very safe when I was your president. You're not safe now. But you're very close to a third world war. And you know, the bombs are starting to drop all over the Middle East again. You see that, right? And uh, all those things could be fixed to our benefit with strength. To our benefit with strength. And Israel would have never happened. And Ukraine would have never happened. There wouldn't have been an attack on Israel. There wouldn't have been an attack on Ukraine. And we wouldn't have had any inflation. Inflation was caused by energy, by fuel, by oil going to $100 and $110 a barrel. But our border was perfect. But remember this, so I did the imitation. And the next day, all over television, see Trump get off. He can't get off the stage either. They're the same. Then they say, we don't like these 81, 82-year-old people. I said, I'm 77. Five years is a big difference. But, but you know, no, they always say I'm 81. They, they say, like, we're not the same age. But you know what? I know 